Finally, Dow Jones has again breached 34,000 levels. Yesterday, I told you one can remain long above 33,700 first at 33,800 target and for next is the 34k and it has achieved it. At the same time, US 100 has seen 11,610. Those who follow me, remember I have told in last couple of weeks several times till the time US 100 trades above 33,400 and 11,400 for Dow Jones and Nasdaq both. These are the levels only and only if they both break the support then you can consider them bearish it is reversed but remember today is an important day for the us indices specifically as the inflation data is going to definitely have an impact on these two so which position you should take in order to profit we will see with the help of charts and indicators the next update on these two will be released before the us cash session so do watch that also let's start First, we'll look into Nasdaq 100 followed with Dow Jones. Do like, share, subscribe and comment. Do press the bell icon. Let's have a look at the early chart. Now, Nasdaq 100 on the early charts, it appears 11, 7, 10, 7, 20 is a very, very good resistance. I have told you yesterday also that 11, 6, 20, 6, 60 and then 11, 7, 10. 7, 10 is the first resistance level. Beyond this, certainly we can expect it to achieve 11, 7, 60, 8, 40 and 12,000 levels again. But look at the early charts here. It is looking forward to a little drop. This is the first breakout kind of how far this can come. Again, 11, 660, 640. These two are very, very stronger support. And below that also till if it draws below 11, 620, you can consider this for the next drop to 11, 600 and 580. See, on the downside till 11, 540. 50 it has got very strong support and only and only if it breaks below this you can consider it for 11 500 and 400 levels directional movement is moderately bullish stochastic has seen a good drop and has come back to oversold zone the MACD is bullish trying to converge and if you look at the rsi this is looking downwards here on the early charts now look at the two hour charts on the two hour charts one thing is very clear that it is trying to trade in this channel now, if you look at the highs of this channel, certainly once it trades above 11,710, the next destination is directly for 11,800, 11,840 levels and beyond that, certainly it is going to remain increasingly bullish. Now, if you look at the two hour charts closely, definitely 11,550 and 600 are going to play a major role today. Directional movement is moderately, it is just crossed over for the greenery, but it is again trying to cross over for the sell. A stochastic overbought and if you look at the MACD this is a trading in green and the RSI is also trading near to the highs now look at the three R charts now see the three R charts the bottom here at 11 400 the next bottom and the reversal here at 11 500 and now it is trying to likewise create the support levels so see first support here next support here at the same time double top is seen so rise retracement double top again retracement once you see it trading below 11500 consider this for a good bearishness and then you can expect it to drop rather i will recommend you to sell here at 11580 itself which was the buying level yesterday if you sell at 11580 you can expect 11540 520 as the first support then 480 450 as the next support and below that a good drop so till the time it trades between 11580 and 11710 do not take any position for the day on the four hour charts also similar is the observation and if you look at the daily charts now look at the daily charts closely and if you look at the daily charts you will find first thing is the support here at this zone 11400 600 which is also an important resistance zone and yes if it sustains above this you can expect higher highs and possibility exists that we may see 12100 12200 levels today itself at the same time trading below 11400 it is going to give you a very good drop directional movement trying to converge crossover for a buy stochastic looking upwards the MACD is trying to converge crossover and the RSI is trading flat considering this sell at 580 buy at 710 for these 130 points, do not trade NASDAQ 100. This is my expectation. Possibility exists that it may achieve the bottom and show you a good rise and hence you have to trade your trades accordingly. Now, let's have a look at Dow Jones and US 30 is now trading at 33,970 levels. And if you look at the early charts, 
Now look at the hourly charts 33400. The bottom here, we I have been shouting that it is trying to trade bullish. See, this is an expanding triangle. Consistently higher highs are seen. Now look at the hourly charts here also. Getting resistance at 34,000, which is definitely a very good resistance level. At the same time, 33,950 is a very good support. Below that, 33,900 and 33,800. 33,800, which was the previously very strong support zone, is now resistance zone is now going to be the support level. There is a possibility that it can drop till there and you can buy again from 33,800. That is also equally applicable. Directional movement extremely bullish, which gives an opportunity for it to converge and cross over for a sell. Stochastic, neither overbought nor oversold. MACD is trying to converge crossover for a sell and the RSI is overbought. So on the hourly chart, it appears that we may see a little drop, but then 33,900 and 33,800 are going to provide a very strong support and hence you can take a sell entry here at 33,940 and expect it to drop till towards 900, 840, 800 and below that a good sharp drop. See on the two hour chart, the stochastic though is overbought, the MACD is still in green and RSI is trading near to the highs and if you look at the 3 hour charts now look at the 3 hour charts on the 3 hour chart there is a wall there could be a breakout once it trades below 33,940 you can expect a little more drop for 33,900 800 levels it is bullish on the directional movement and overbought on the 4 hour charts and hence a little drop cannot be denied the MACD is bullish it has seen the highs there possibility for it to converge just RSI trading near to overbought levels and if you look at the 4 hour charts, now look at the 4 hour charts, consistently big bullish candles trying to, the previous candle was indecision, possibility for it to reverse again on the downside for 33,900, 800 exist and from there a rise cannot be denied. It is bullish, it is overbought, it is bullish on the MACD and it is near to the highs here for the RSI as well. Now look at the daily chart. On the daily chart, this is the 20 period moving average at around 34.020.040. Hence, it has to just break past those levels for the day and then you can expect 34.200, 34.500 and then beyond that it is going to fly high. At the same time, 33.400 is definitely a very good support level. Now, look at the daily charts for US 30 and you will observe that it was trying to trade in this bullish channel. This is the breakout. Now it is again trying to enter into that. Yes, if you see it trading above 34,500 at any point of time this week, this month, you can remain long for 35,500, 36,000 levels. That is one observation. On the downside, 33,000 levels is a very good support if it breaks past 34K, 33,400. It is moderately bullish on the directional movement. It's stochastic looking upwards. The MACD is bearish and trying to convert the RSI trading flat. Considering this, you can buy at 34,020. You can sell at 33,940. On the downside, stay alert and cautious till 33,800. Till then, you have to trail your stop losses. In fact, till 33,700. Below 33,700, you can expect a more bearishness might taking it till towards 33,550, 33,400 levels, which, is, which are the stronger support levels. Take your trades accordingly. Take your positions accordingly. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon. Trade with a stop loss. Trade with a trailing stop loss. Thank you very much. Have a great profitable trading day ahead. Thank you.